Thank you for tuning in to the semi-final action at the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship, which took place in Brucefield, Ontario in November of 2023. In this exciting matchup, we have the team of John Conrad and Connor Ryman facing off against the Tracy brothers, Nolan and Reed. Both teams had a tough match in order to get here. The con men, Connor and Conrad, um, took out the team of Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson, while the Tracy brothers took out the team of Red Herring, AKA Jason Malloy, and Seth Frank, AKA Seth from Bowling. I'm not sure if anyone from the Extra Pint Club can go by just one name. Anyway, back to the action here. We have Connor and Conrad up by a single 20. Reed Tracy off to a rough start. Complete miss on that one. Conrad makes him pay by draining that open 20. See if Nolan can uh, convert on this. He's suggesting that's no man's land. It's a tough lie. Goes for the follow through. Connor Ryman content to play away from the center hole and not give the Tracy brothers any opportunity to get back in this round. Tracy's do have the hammer in this round, but they're down two 20s. Nolan attempting a fairly, fairly aggressive follow through there. Connor with a nice takeout and roll away, not giving Reed Tracy much to work with here. Rolls it back toward Nolan to try to set up future opportunities. Ooh, I'm not sure if John Conrad meant to roll in on that. He's normally known as a more defensive player. Nolan almost made him pay for that mistake. Connor Ryman content to roll away again. Reed Tracy attempting to use two pegs to make some magic happen there. Not a bad angle, a little bit off on the weight though. John Conrad goes for the takeout, leaves himself in a nice position. Nolan's gonna be going for a follow through 20 here. Gets nice carry in just the wrong direction. Again, two shots left for the Tracys, down two 20s. Ah, that seals it right there. Last two shots, inconsequential. Nolan takes that opportunity to practice his open 20s to get ready for the next round. Yeah. The highlights of that round were John Conrad draining open 20s. Reed a little long on that open 20 attempt. Conrad, I think he was looking for the off and the 20, was a little bit off here. Conrad and Ryman with the hammer advantage in this round, but the Tracys with two on. Oh, Conrad with a beautiful roll in 20. Nolan Tracy evens the 20 count. Nice push out by Connor Ryman. Really good board control. See what Conrad does this time. I expect he's going to be up to his defensive ways as he drops to the right. Rolls in just slightly, probably not quite where he wanted to be, but still doesn't give Nolan much of an opportunity here. Nolan leaves that fairly well posted, but Conrad may, or sorry, Connor Ryman makes easy work of that. Nice rollout. I almost feel like I've seen this before as the players go around the board trying to uh, keep control of things. Conrad again, just a little off on that roll in. Oh, beautiful follow through 20 by Nolan Tracy. Connor Ryman evens it. So here we are, four shots left for each team. Team's trading 20s at this point. Nolan squeaks that one in. Connor Ryman bangs that one in. Reed just a little off on those open 20s. See if Conrad makes him pay. Oh, almost. One shot left. Nolan Tracy and then Connor Ryman with the hammer. Nolan will be going for the follow through 20 for sure. Oh, just a titch off. Great effort. All Ryman needed to secure the two points was that takeout in the house.
Conrad to start this third round. So Tracy's with the hammer. See if they can make a match out of this. Right now they're down four to zero. Oh, Nolan going for the touch 20 and gets robbed. Oh, -ho! Ryman gets robbed and kicked out of the house completely. Players having a bit of a chuckle over that one. Reed trying to figure out how he can get rid of the black, drain the 20, and move that natural button away from the center hole, not leaving Conrad with the opportunity to even the playing field. If you're in the, commentary, in the uh, comments below wondering if the commentary is a little bit biased here, you're absolutely right. Given my two sons are in this matchup, I am biased, but I don't think there's anything that I can do at this point to impact the outcome. So, oh, nice attempt. Gets the off, but also leaves the Mickey Mouse. Not a Mickey Mouse shot. They call that the Mickey Mouse when there's Mickey Mouse ears surrounding that center hole, giving the person not one, but two backboards. Ryman going for the follow through 20 on that one. Nice leave by Tracy. Tracy's are in not bad shape on this one. 120 each with the hammer. Nolan's going to be looking to stay fairly handy the pegs there, which he does. Oh, Ryman bringing the peg into play. That was a great attempt to make something happen there. Now Reed is looking for the takeout again and not wanting to leave Conrad with any sort of an option. Talking about, very similar to the shot that Tracy's faced a few minutes ago, looking to, ooh, that is not what he wanted. Looking to uh, get an off, get a 20, and move theirs away from the setup, and they only got uh, one of the three things they were looking for. Nolan content to stay way to the outside. Oh, Conrad going for the very, sorry, Connor Ryman going for that very thin slice. Tracy's quite content just with the takeout there. They now have three on with the hammer. Conrad will be going for a follow through on this one. Oh, beautiful push. Didn't get the 20 he wanted, but uh, you can see Nolan taking an extra second here. I'm not sure he's in love with any of his options. Maybe lining up for a touch 20. Hmm, he was, came up a little short. <laughs> <laughs> Players discussing if uh, if Ryman leaves that there, will it still be there by the time it gets around to Conrad's shot? Conrad jokingly says, ask Reed. Ask him if he'll leave it there. I think they both know the answer. Yeah, he's decided that Reed most likely would not leave that alone, and I'm pretty confident he's right. Um, went for that follow through 20, was not successful, but. The team of Conrad and Ryman are definitely not out of this. Oh, oh wow. I was going to say they're not out of this yet, but that definitely was a fantastic shot by Reed Tracy, getting the off and rolling way out, not only to the outside, but away from away from Conrad. See what Nolan's gonna do here. Maybe he'll try to elevate just up into the 10, and he does. Yep, that extra five points can make a difference. As, what do we got going on here? He's gonna try for the double takeout and the 15, which he did get, which puts the pressure on. But Tracy's with one shot left. I guess maybe he was probably going for the 20. He had, put the, he had gotten the 20, it really would have put the pressure on. Four to two for the team of Conrad and Ryman. Nolan Tracy starts this round with an open 20. Oh, a little bit of a bounce out there. Let's see if Tracy can keep, ooh. He wanted to get the off and keep that away from the hole. Tell by the head swing there, he was unpleased with the result. 
I believe Nolan will probably just stay to the outside, maybe taking that one in the 10, leaving Ryman a tough shot. Not as tough as he would have liked to have left. Ryman going to go through his own. Gets the... Uh, gets that. Thinking Reed will... Curious what he'll do here. He can take the one in the 15, try to roll away, giving Nolan the opportunity when it comes around to him again to be able to hide away from Ryman. That's exactly what he did, although I don't think that's where Reed had intended to leave that button. It's a little close to the center. It's on the right side of the hole, as we like to say. Conrad doesn't have much choice but to go for a big follow through, or they do have the hammer, so if they can keep two on, they're not in a bad spot. Yeah, they're discussing what to do here. Let's see. Yeah, nice spot. Nolan asking if it's possible to hide from uh, Ryman, and that uh, I think he just got his answer. <laughs> oh, beautiful attempt on the follow through there. Came up just a little short. Now, Conrad says, hold my beer and watch this, but he was not successful in his attempt at the follow through 20 either. Nolan can secure the off and roll away, although he may have left a slice touch 20 there for Ryman. We'll see. Expect that's exactly what he's going for. He drops off to the right side. Oh, he got the 20, but not the right color. Tracy's up two 20s now against the hammer, but they should still be in uh, pretty good control this round. Conrad going for the roll in. Looks like the angle is pretty good. A little off on the weight. Nolan secures the takeout and leaves himself well posted as well. So that's, uh, ooh. Ryman getting crafty like he likes to do. Swing and a miss by Reed. Nolan slapping his hands on his thighs in exasperation going, what on earth am I supposed to do with this lie, John Conrad? It's one of my favorite things in Crokinole is getting into situations like this where the, <laughs> the players really aren't quite sure what to do and they get their creative their creative hat on trying to uh, trying to figure it out. It makes it that much more fun when you got four friends around the table like these four guys and uh, get a little bit of a little bit of friendly banter going at the same time and it's even that much more fun. Ryman brings it within one. Probably all for naught. Yeah. At this point, Conrad needs three buttons off and a 20 to secure a tie. Conrad's good, but we all have our limits. Ryman to start the fifth round as these two teams are knotted up five all in this race to nine. Conrad comes up a little short. Nolan makes him pay, going up two to one in the 20 count. Ryman just a little bit off on the line. See if Reed goes for a takeout, takeout and the 20, beautiful shot. Conrad found his groove, back to the open 20s. Nolan levels that. Ryman finds his groove as well. Reed just a little bit off there. Opening the door for the team of Conrad and Ryman to get back into this. Ooh. Nice little bump and run there. A little mini bump and run from Nolan. I think Connor was looking for a post with that one. Unable to get it, so he pushed it outside. Simple takeout for Reed. Little game cat and mouse here as the Tracys try to keep play outside. 
the con men as they went by for this tournament, trying to get things back inside. Tracy's being successful in keeping things outside. Here they are out in the five. Conrad tries to roll in. Nolan Tracy likely to be pushing this straight through the house. Probably not what he wanted, but I think he's going to get away with it. Yeah. Tracy's up by 220s. They are out of bullets. Final shots. Inconsequential. Tracy's go up six points to four. Highlight there, Nolan doing that miniature bump and run. Reed to start this round, just a titch off. Ooh, Conrad with a nice rollout, although he may have left Nolan an opportunity for a roll in. Yeah, back in the house, but uh, Conrad and Ryman in control with play to the outside. They're just gonna keep things out here. Oh, yeah, I do not think that's what he meant to do. Tracy going for it on that one. Nice follow through and the reward for his effort. Oh, I was gonna say the reward for his effort is a Conrad 20, but Conrad unable to convert on that one. Oh. Great attempt to push his own through into the 20. <laughs> Ryman getting greedy going for the two and a 20. Just a little, oh, there it is. Players have been all around it. Tracy's the first to drop a 20. Conrad comes up a little short. See if Nolan makes him pay, he does. That was a heavy hanger, but he was able to convert. Ryman, a little off. The mistakes are being paid for. And again, Tracy's with a commanding lead in this round. Four 20s to zero. Four shots left for each team. At this point, unless the Tracys give their opponents a 20, they are out of it. They are mathematically shooting dead at this point. Does not stop Ryman from making a highlight reel 20. <laughs> yes. Six 20s for the Tracy team as they take a commanding eight to four lead in this race to nine. Conrad just barely misses on his open 20. See if Nolan is able to convert on this very heavy hanger. Not quite. Nice push. Maybe an opportunity for Ryman. Not quite able to convert on that. Tracy's with the hammer on this one. Mm. Reed pushing for that follow through, I believe. Wow, again, the players are all around it. Just won't quite drop. Ah, not only did Nolan not get the 20, he did not get the off either. Ryman makes him pay. That, that not getting that off could prove to be costly. Beautiful roll by Reed, bring that over in front of Nolan. I think Conrad was trying to move it, but he didn't move it that far. Let's see if Nolan can convert off. Oh, and he can. What a clutch 20. Ryman cancels that out. They're up two to one in 20s. Reed comes up the tiniest bit short on his open 20 attempt. Let's see here, which way is Nolan gonna go? He's Sizing up whether he can touch his own first and whether he'll make a valid shot or it looks like he might be coming at it from the other side. Yeah. Ooh, he doesn't touch anything. Oh, worst possible outcome. Now, Ryman has the same decision, although it's set up much better for him to touch his own and then the opponent. 
Beautiful. Left his black shoot black player on as well. So Reed attempting the roll in. At this point, Conrad and Ryman are up by two twenties. Let's see if Nolan can bring it back within reach near. Now he needs a takeout 20. Put some pressure on. They do have the hammer. Sounds like he thinks it might be better for a touch. He was correct. They bring it within 120. They have the hammer. Ryman drives that home, the off and the 20. Reed does the same, the off and the 20. Each team with two shots left. Conrad finds that open 20 range. Nolan a little bit off. That secures this round. Ryman does the math. Knows that they have this round. The highlight reel, beautiful takeout 20 by Connor. Another beautiful touch there. It is the Connor Ryman show at this point. It's enough of that. Let's move on to the next round. <laughs> Nolan Tracy starts this round with an open 20. Ryman up to the task. Players all finding their range. Oh, Conrad the first to miss. Nolan weighing out his options. Nice off and roll, although he may have left, may have wanted that to go a little bit further to see, to make sure that Con, Con, Connor Ryman, these two are never allowed to partner again. Never, ever. Too tough on the commentator. All right, 3-3 three, three in the 20 count. <laughs> Ryman content to just do the takeout, considering they have the hammer. Reed Tracy pushing for that follow through 20. Off his line just a little bit. Oh, ho, ho. he said whoops. He didn't mean to do that, but he's quite happy with the outcome. Reed a little off on his open 20. Conrad makes him pay. Nolan was reaching for that one. He was so confident it was going in. Ryman leaves the door open for Reed Tracy to get the takeout 20. Brings them within 120. Ryman, can they put some pressure on at this point? Another takeout 20, and that changes uh, changes the situation quite significantly. Beautiful. A little bit of pressure on here. Ryman taking an extra second, knowing how critical this open 20 is. Comes up short. Now Reed needs the takeout 20 to put the pressure on Conrad. All Conrad needs is a simple takeout to secure this round. 8-8. Eight, eight. What a battle. That angle in 20. Clutch. Some great takeout 20s on both sides of this battle. 8-8. Eight, eight, knotted up tie. Ryman starts with an open 20. Puts the pressure on Reed. Reed a little long on that open 20 attempt. Oh, Conrad almost took a commanding lead in that round already. Nolan's going to be... Oh, he did touch. Wow. That was a fortunate miss, and he's leaving, uh, leaving Connor Ryman with something to think about here. Looks like Ryman's going to look to push this straight through. Reed's going to be looking for the follow through 20. He almost gets. Conrad going to be content just to get the takeout, I would think. And he pushed. Not a bad position, although Nolan may be able to convert that, put some pressure back on. So Conrad and Ryman up 120. Tracy's with the hammer. Even with the extreme tension of a semifinal match knotted up at eight points to eight, the players are still able to joke amongst themselves. The serious underbelly of the competitive Crokinole world. <laughs> nice roll away by Ryman. Gets himself out between the pegs. 
Reed's gonna opt to come inside to try to catch a peg. Yeah, caught the peg, but ended up outside. All the Tracys can hope for now is an opportunity to angle in, and that might be it right there. It is. Beautiful angle in 20. It's counts as much as that. It's what John Conrad probably said. He says things like that. At least there's only one on the outside now. Although Conrad, beautiful shot to force it away from Nolan, make him go through all the pegs to get to the other side. Ryman's going to look to keep moving that. Okay, no, that was a beautiful hit and stick right there because it does not leave Reed with much of an option. He's going to try to work his way. Yeah, he was trying to get up between the pegs. There, my bias was coming through again. I'm sorry. Nice spot. It's going to make it a little tough for Ryman. He's got to go through the pegs. Keep himself in the house in hopes of not setting Reed up for any sort of action in there. Oh, dagger, dagger. Ah, oh, and that seals it right there. Yep. What a back and forth battle. Conrad and Ryman went up four nothing. Tracy's come back four straight rounds to make it eight four. And then six, uh, three rounds in a row to Conrad and it's shots like that are so tough to beat. What another fantastic matchup, exactly what it should be as players sit down to play in the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championships. Please stay tuned to our channel and uh, watch for more final action or another semifinal match as well as the finals. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make it a great day.